and welcome to my little tutorial this morning. I'm Lucy from Ribbon and Thread and I'm just coming on to share with you how to use my Prim Love pliers which are these little guys. These are in my shop to buy um, and I'm just coming on as a few people have asked me to give a little tutorial how you can use them. So this is what you do. These pliers are fab. They are a great little tool for helping you apply poppers um, to all sorts of things. Bags, clothes, perfect for children's wear as well. They're safe, they're soft um, and they're super easy to use. So these are my pliers and in my shop they come in packs like these with these lovely turquoise handles and these are made by Prim, Prim Love Range. Um, so they're a super top brand as well and they are really hard wearing. You can use these pliers with the plastic snaps that I um, sell in my shop and you can also use them with metal snaps as well. So here's an example of some of the snaps that I have that you can use them with. So for example, I've got the plastic gold stars at the moment in my shop and these come in little packs of everything that you need. Um, I've also got some little smiley faces there and then your sort of standard white ones. So today I'm going to show you how to apply some of these. I've got a little cape here that I've been making and I just want to put a little popper at the top around the neck piece. So first of all, when you get your snaps, you need to obviously open your pack. It comes with all the necessary um, fixings that you'll need to use metal snaps and the plastic snaps. So the fixings are down here. So you need to take your pliers out of their case um, and you need to apply the necessary snap adjustments. So in your little pack, you'll have a little clear um, add on like this and if I can get it apart now because I've been using my lots you also have a little metal one that fits inside of there so you need to get both of those pieces out and you need to apply them together so you need to pop that little metal bit there into the little plastic clear bit and that's all in your pack just down here so that then once you've done that, that then needs to clip into one side of your pliers. It doesn't matter which side. The other side you then need to apply, this is for the plastic um, snaps, this little tray here. So you pop that out of your pack and that just presses in the other side like so. And then that gives your pliers a ready then to use the plastic snaps. So once you've done that part, keep the other little attachments nice and safe somewhere. And what I also do is just cut out the little instructions on the back and keep that with them. And that's just for reference in the future. So you then need to choose which snaps you want to use. So today I'm just going to use some white snaps, which I've shown you here. So you then need to get out four pieces of snaps. You need two outer bits. So that's the, the flat bits that you will see. So that would be like on the front of your clothing, for example. So that could be like a button or a popper. So you need two of those. So they're dead flat on the other side. And then you need an innie and an outie, or a male and female, whichever you like to call it. And these make the popper action. So we've got there an outie. So can you see that one? So you need one of those. And then you need an innie, so there's an innie. So just for example, hopefully that's not too blurry for you. There's your innie and there's your outie. Okay, and they've got holes in the middle. So you should have then four pieces to put in your pliers. Move everything else aside, so innie, outie and two outer covers. You then need to find your your item that you're making or your piece of fabric. So I'm applying it to the neck piece of this little cape and decide where you want to put your poppers. So first of all, I want the top of my popper to be showing on the outside of this bit. So the top is the nice flat shiny bit. So that then literally, you just find where you want to put that on your fabric and you just push it through. So there's a little sharp pointy bit on the other side you push it through. So now that is in my fabric. This bit then sits in the little tray that you've attached to your pliers. So that goes in there, like so. You can feel it sort of clip in place. And then on top of that, you need to either put an innie or an outie. And it doesn't matter at this point, either one. So this is the outie. So the out bit needs to be facing upwards. And then that just sits over the top of the little spiky bit. So there's the spiky bit, goes through the hole, it just sits on top. 
and then what you need to do is squeeze really hard. So you put your pliers together and you squeeze nice and hard. And what that does is it pushes that spiky middle bit down and it squashes it flat. So in the middle there now, there isn't a spiky bit anymore, that's nice and flat. And that is now nice and secure. So on the other side you want to do the same. So the difference with this one is my flat shiny bit is going to be on the bottom because obviously I want the popper to go together like this. So you find where you want to have that piece. So you kind of line it up. So then I'm going to push this shiny bit through my outer popper bit. So where you want it, push it through your fabric. So on one side you've got your popper, the other side is pushed through. That sits then in your pliers again, in that bottom tray. And then this time I'm going to put my innie. So you can see it going in, that sits on top there. And then again, you just squeeze your pliers together. Nice and hard. Squeeze them hard. And that should then, can you just see in there? The little pointy bit is now squashed flat. Excuse my finger, my plaster is now squashed nice and flat. So that now is finished. That should make the popper action. So with your innie and your outie, you should be able to now just popper that together. If you can't, it might just mean that you need to squeeze them a little bit more and they can be a little bit stiff to start with, but they're nice and secure. There you go. That is how to use the prim pliers. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back again soon.